Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between all three of these Ninja Air Fryers. So the first one over here on the left, this is the Ninja Air Fryer Pro XL 6.5 quart, model number AF181. Here in the middle, I got the 5.5 quart. This is the Max AXL. It's model number AF161. And over here, this is the 4 quart. This is model number AF101. Now earlier I, I cooked these french fries between these two right here and what I found is this one has a little more localized cooking, maybe a little bit quicker, but it can't do quite the big a quantity as the uh, 6.5 quart here. It does a lot better job with when you have a larger quantity. Okay, so let's take a look at the baskets and then we'll talk about the control panels. So these two are circular, the 4 quart and the 5.5. This is a square. Now you can reach in here, you can take these crisper trays out. This one will only go uh, one way because of that little notch cut out, but it is an actual square. They've got little silicone feet on them that you got to leave on there so that that protects the, they all have this non-stick coating surface on there. And that's what those feet do is protect it and keep it in there. So you can turn this upside down and it won't fall out when you get your French fries out. And then here's the little four quart. This is kind of like a miniaturized version of the 5.5. Again, same design. Let's measure them. Okay, so the, Six and a half is about an eight and a half square. This one is a circle. It's about eight and a quarter. And this one is about an eight and a quarter. But with the crisper tray in, that's right at three and a half. This one's almost five, just about four and three quarters. This one with the crisper tray in is four and a half. All right, let's take the crisper tray out. This is right at four and three quarters. This one's almost six. This one's right at almost five and a half, five and a quarter probably. Here's the different design on these crisper trays. Now they all three operate with, they've got a fan and a heating element up above. So here's the four quart. We look, there's the fan and the heating element all the way over here to the six and a half quart. Okay, so around back, they all have this vent where the hot air is gonna come out. So the 6.5 and the 5.5 are 1,750 watts. This is 1,550 watts for the four quart. Okay, so these two do go up to 450 degrees. So they have a max crisp button, 450 degrees. Over here, I've got air fry, roast, preheat, dehydrate. The maximum temperature is 400 degrees. And again, they got a power button, start, and they got a start and do air fry. Yep. Start and stop button. Over here, again, they got a start and stop button. You can pause it also. Change the different ones you want, whatever mode, different time, different temperature. This display is a little bit dimmer, but it looks really nice. I've just got really bright lights on right now. We've got air fry, bake, preheat, or reheat, dehydrate, max crisp, change the temperature, air fry, you can change the temperature, change the time, hit start, and you can pause it. Okay, so this is the tallest one. It's almost 14 and a half inches. The five, the six and a half quarts, about 12 inches tall. And this one is about 13 inches tall. Left to right, this is about 11 inches. That's for the six and a half quart. This one's about 10 and a half. And this one is also about 10 and a half also. Okay, so price-wise, these are kind of all over the place. They're always going on sale, but this one is brand new. I love the design. These two designs have been around for a super long time. There's nothing wrong with them. They just have a circular design, which means they're a little bit taller. This one will do five pounds of French fries. I did two pounds earlier. It did an amazing job. This one will do three and a half pounds of French fries. So you're just getting a lot more air fryer for not much more space and a, a little bit nicer design. But with that, you do have a price increase. So the newer one is retailing for 158 right now. I imagine it's gonna go on sale. These two hover around $99. I mean, the four quart, $89 right now. The 5.5 is $120. These things, these prices are just constantly all over the place. They're constantly going on sale. So I did buy all three of, these, three of these with my own money. That way I could show you and give you an honest review of all three of them. They all three cook really good. I think they've just kind of figured things out a little bit better on this one. There's nothing wrong with this. And if you need a taller design for an air basket, then that one's the way to go. But it is a little bit taller and that design looks a little older. Again, I'll put links to these in the show description notes. I am an Amazon, Walmart, and a Shark Ninja affiliate. If you click on those product links, it'll take you to those websites. The products won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. Again, really appreciate everybody's support. Check me out. Look for my logo on Instagram, Just a Dad. Over there, if you could, hit the follow button. I do free giveaways there and on my Facebook group page. 
Just a Dad Videos Facebook group page. I'm also on TikTok. Again, really appreciate everybody's support. If there's an air fryer you'd like to see me buy, review, compare, let me know in the show comments. Again, really appreciate it. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. So I just get done with the video, and Miss Fiona has come. She wants one of the chicken nuggets from earlier.